This morning is security expert Christopher Hinn and also form, former Orange County Sheriff Kevin Berry. Good morning, gentlemen. Both thanks for coming in. Good, Good morning. morning. Mr. Hamm, let's start with you right now. At this point, whether Pastor Jones burns the holy books or not and backs off, he's still putting his community at risk, and I would have to assume the nation and our soldiers overseas. What do you see as the biggest risk as we head into Saturday? Uh, good morning. I believe if he decides to uh, cease and insist this action, I think he'll be redeemed uh, simply because his right now he has not uh, done any act of violence or act of dishonoring the Quran. Uh, he got his 15 minutes uh, of fame, but I think if he decides to go forward, then it, it, uh, the, the, uh, the game is going to change. He's stepping over a line of demarcation that he will not be able to step back. It will affect our troops, our American travelers, and, and I'm very serious when I say that. He's literally beheading the entire uh, Islamic community for something he believes, which I believe is, is not even in the Bible. So that's my position on this one, especially with uh, his actions. Now, another, another twist to this, uh, he needs to probably take the Qurans over to Afghanistan. If he's so, uh, uh, I, I want to use different words. If he but, wants uh, to be that brave, that's where that he's brave, saying he you know, do it. He should go over to Afghanistan and take those Qurans and burn them and take his uh, 50 members with him or whoever he wants to take. And let's see what kind of reaction he'll get over there. Yeah, I don't know that he's brave enough to do that. So let's talk a little bit more about what's going to happen here. The odds are he's going to stay here and he will burn those Qurans at the church. So Sheriff uh, Barry, the community is reeling right now. Some people in Gainesville support the church's actions, but more people say they're worried about their safety. They don't support this. So tell me what law enforcement there is doing and what they're doing. Can it really protect people right now? Because it seems like this is going to be a very volatile situation this weekend. Well, I can uh, guarantee you that the uh, authorities at the University of Florida, because they have a football game this weekend, as well as uh, Latchewa County Sheriff's Office, Gainesville Police Department, they're all on heightened alert. They've all got, uh, you know, operational plans being put together. I've, I've watched some news coverage from your station today about uh, some of the operational plans that are already in place and people need to uh, if you don't need to be there stay away and if you hear something uh, suspicious notify your local law enforcement so that they can uh, deal with it uh, unfortunately we have radical uh, elements on, on uh, both sides of this issue and uh, all you're doing is adding fuel to the fire and it is a major concern not only in Gainesville but throughout the state of Florida because it's a big sports weekend and uh, having been in Afghanistan and gotten a call there the other night uh, at 2:45 in the morning the day before uh, yesterday. Uh, it's a concern for our troops over there, and if they capture one of our troops, they're going to torture them. And that's what seems like is going to be something that could be ongoing, not just this one-day thing on September 11th. Uh, Sheriff Barry, it seems like this is something that people could carry a grudge with, and this could create problems in the weeks and months ahead. And you're, uh, Chris said it earlier. This is this is uh, a threat, not only locally, state, national, but international. Mr. Hinn, let's go back to you for just a second here. Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about this. Let's say he does go through with this. Something happens. Does he have blood on his hands? Can people go back and sue him? Is that a possibility? I honestly believe that our Justice Department to really look at this very seriously. If he is responsible for lives that are uh, taken because of his actions, he should be liable. His board members should be right. The church should be liable because these lives are not, uh, are, are not you know, they, why should they pay the price for his act of, uh, you know, if he wants to be a legend, uh, let him be a legend, but don't take lives with him. Yes, absolutely. I think uh, we need to really look at this seriously. But from a security stand, I think he's, uh, take, he's, he's, he's destroying everything we've worked for in the U.S. government for the last nine years of building our economy, building our security, border security, and our relationships with our allies. And he's literally destroying that with one act. And this act, you're dealing with their, regardless of how we feel as Christians about our word of God, that's their word of God. And you're not burning a flag for national purposes. You're burning their word of God that they believe so mightily in, especially right now and during the Ramadan season. Religion for all of us, deeply personal. We'll be watching very closely, all eyes, really of the world, on 9-11 in Gainesville this weekend. Christopher Hinn, thanks so much for coming in. And Sheriff Kevin Berry, thank you for your time, both gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you.